Zcore here and today we shall be playing with the beautiful Cherry Blossom FNFL. One of my favorite guns, favorite guns, favorite guns actually. Um, and I'm glad to be revisiting it today because, well, it's my favorite. It's one of my favorites. Um, now, I'm running it with these attachments as this unique... Um, Laser sight, I think you call it. Do you call it that? You call it something like that, right? It's my teammate above me. Two snipers, so I don't like that, obviously. But we're also playing on the new. Ah, uh, why? Oh my god, through the cover. We're playing on the new, newly improved and revamped. What the fuck is this map called? District, which um. Honestly, it looks pretty good so far. Like, um, when I was seeing it, like, preview videos and stuff. Again, just like any other redesign, it looked, like, very fake and plasticky and shit like that. But, honestly, I'd say, like, playing it, it feels pretty nice. Even though it's been, like, what, five minutes or something? <laughs> Not even five minutes. But it feels like it, it's it's been a success, to say the least. Um, now, here's what it looks like, the Fenfal, if I can show you completely. Can I climb with this guy? Yes, here we go. Um, I made a video on it a long time ago, and actually that one was on NA, on EU as well. So, that's an interesting little bit of fact for you. Um, that one didn't actually get many views, not that it really matters, or not that it's very relevant, but... Oh, they entirely changed this, I like that. Oh, shit. My G is binded to grenades still for some fucking reason. Oh my god. These guys really wanted me dead. And I should unbind G from anything because who the fuck just chucks out a grenade without aiming it and cooking it? What the fuck? What's the use of it even? Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, I played it on, the last video was on EU as well. This map actually looks very good now. Like, it, it seems actually playable. Although, be it the colors are garbage, and... Can I toss it over? No. We did toss it over, but... Our aim is going to shit too now. Oh my god, can you guys stop dying, mates? Let's go down here, slowly. Are you gonna hear me? They were waiting for me, literally. Um, but, yeah. Uh, now, looks out of the way. It has... This attachment is a laser height, which greatly improves hip accuracy, so it's totally my thing down my alley. And it has slight improvements to recoil as well, which doesn't make sense because usually it would like uh, sacrifice recoil for hip fire. Oh god. Oh my god, I did it again. I pressed G out of nowhere. I think it's because of fucking broke company, because over there my button for explosives or, or frag grenades is literally G. So I have to press that to switch to it. Um, and now here, when I actually have the 5 button for it. Oh my god, team. Team, do something. Oh my god, he just got a drop shot in 2020. Oh, what the fuck was my teammate doing? The other one. What's going on here? Are we really losing? These guys are one, one player down. And we're somehow losing. God damn it, dude. Oh, that was a guy there. I'm pretty sure that was a guy there. Yep, that was totally a guy there. Sitting at the end of that tunnel. Tunnel, that corridor. Alleyway, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they definitely made this map much more playable and easy to... Like, you don't pull out your hair 
from how badly it's designed now. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, I missed that headshot. That was an easy one. Oh, so one rifle left. I don't think he's behind us. Watch me kill. Oh, we did get him. <clears throat> so, uh, it has that's the only unique attachment it has. Um, and I think it was the f one of the first ones or the first gun to have a laser sight like it, like this. Oh my god, I did it again. Why do I keep pressing G like that? <laughs> Angering myself. <laughs> Can't accept this. Unacceptable. Uh, I'm gonna switch the attachments here, but this is my preferred setup, as you would expect, because otherwise, why would I be using it? Um, oh wow, that KS was very hurtful. Okay, let's switch to... I wouldn't recommend really going with advanced sights because um, even though the gun has a pretty low and, and controllable recoil, it sort of has a um, noticeable kick to it, at least on the first few shots. So if you go with a red dot sight, you perceive that recoil less, so it, you can, it can help you with like controlling your shots and, and aiming and shooting properly. AFK. Well, that's great. Um, but I'll use it here so maybe you guys will notice what I'm talking about. Wait, let me, let's see if I can shoot the wall here and show you guys. So, you see as the recoil goes up pretty fast, but you can like pull it down to control it and all. Um, but even that little bit of recoil, which is easily uh, manageable, it still helps to... Um, let's go with this as well. It's still made a lot easier to handle if you have red dot sight. So that's why I would personally go with red dot. On top of the fact that it makes your aim just generally more versatile because um, in close quarters you can uh, react much more quickly and like move around like that. If that makes any sense, probably does not. Where's this guy? I feel like there's a fair map for a game. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, no fucking way. <laughs> this is a bad match anyways. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to record another one after this. Because these guys, I don't know why they're leaving. They're in the lead, literally. Um, but that was, that was a bad... <laughs> I mean, I sort of gave up on my aim, but I didn't think he'd butcher me like that with his shotgun. Now we're getting a bit aggressive. So I don't know why that is. Oh. it's one more and one last one. I think I just... I pressed G again. Oh my god, no! <laughs> yeah, I deserve that for... Continuously pressing G. Let me go unbind that all oh, immediately because fuck that shit. Okay, you didn't res me. Where are you, G? Get the fuck out of my bindings, whatever. Like, go fucking num9 or some shit. Like, like num plus. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want you in my life. Now I won't be in pain anymore from pressing, from switching to my nade. Because I want to, um... Oh my god, I'm doing it again. <laughs> it's all because of Rogue Company, dude. Ah. Won't get him one more? Well, I'm gonna get a rest. Am I gonna get farmed, though? Oh. Uh, hello? Nope. So, they're like... Usually I, I tap fire, but there I was trying to like... Since this gun is like easy to... Uh, easy on the recoil side. Um, as you may have noticed, I've been like uh, mostly uh, spraying and pulling down. Um, I haven't tried... I did like two FFAs where I did the same thing. Because it's just that easy to do with this gun. But maybe next game I'll do um, a little bit more of a like... 
top firing. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next game. But that was that wasn't even that doesn't even count. Okay, but we're back, boys, for some more action. Um, continuing where we left off. I'm gonna be using advanced advanced sight here. That sight. That's scope. And trying to maybe tap fire with it. A bit more than I did last game at least. At the very least. So hopefully that goes well. I think they might be climbed up. Oh. They were. Oh. And as you can see, I'm getting all the headshots now that I tap fire. <laughs> that was not good. Uh but no, with this gun really does not feel like a tap fire weapon. Like I would, like I said, I was playing FFAs and there I, I'm not, not like trying to do anything special. And just naturally I, I was, even though I prefer hip, far, hip firing, I do like hip firing, but oh no, that was bad. They're onto me. Are they onto me? They're not onto me it seems because they're sort of oblivious. He was shooting from here. Just an NG and two medics again. Two medics are like always alive. <laughs> it's funny. It's not that funny, but it's sort of like almost funny. No! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let me reload here. Okay, we got them all. I'm gonna take the reload, the, the defuse here. I like the, the change they made to the defusal and, and planting of the bomb. Looks nicer now, in my opinion. So yeah, as I was saying, I'm a half fire piston, but I feel like this gun does much better if, if you um, spray and pull down with it. So that's what I would recommend, honestly. Um, let's go for the silencer here. I would not recommend putting a silencer on it. I don't know. I don't know the damage stats and all by heart or the multipliers, but obviously this gun is not meta anymore. So anything you do like uh, putting a silencer on all that stuff, you're just going to be hurting your own damage even further than what has already m made this gun not meta anymore, you know? So I would not recommend against that. Um, that way, go, go, push. Damn. Lobby's getting toxic real quick. <laughs> that guy dropping the n-word, like, damn. So yeah, uh, we're not gonna make a final assessment here, but, uh, that's why I would advise against the, the silencer on it. And also, like, silencer improves accuracy as far as I'm aware. But I have a feeling it also improves hip accuracy, but you already have the special grip for it to Im improve uh, hip accuracy. So if that's what you're going for, like me, then there's really no reason to do that. And if you're not putting it on for that reason, then you're just sort of lost, aren't you? Oh, they're behind me. Oh, we got him still. But you see, like, it's doing well, fairly. I mean, can't really judge a gun that... <laughs> can't judge a gun that fairly in, in, with a few rounds of PTV, but... Um, you're just getting a general idea here. Why would you just randomly chuck a flash grenade like that? It's so weird. Let's put go back to the red dot here so I can push here. More close quarter area. At least I have the stealth advantage with the stance on. Where are these guys? I think they're through doggy. Ah, too fat. Yes, we made it. Are you not there? I was sure they were boosting there. Oh shit, yeah, that's not good. Dealing at range like that. Oh, 
Where's this last guy? Okay, two medics actually. They're here close to me. Oh shit! <laughs> He's onto me now! Go away! Don't you die, medic! Don't, don't. <laughs> don't become the sacrificial pawn. <laughs> oh shit, I, I totally missed that too. This is going by quickly, so it sort of makes up for the fact that it's gonna be a two two match video here. Our team doesn't even care about bomb. That how, that's how confident we are. <laughs> I'm still somehow 11 and 0. And now they have three medics. What is this going triple medic tactic? What is, is this like new ESL strats or something? Oh, I saw you there. These guys really love their random flash chug across the, the map. Oh, shit. Please, medic, don't die, no. Aw, oh, okay. There, we suffered our, our, um, our fate, our, oh shit. I'm always lost when I get revived. No, mid, mid. Bro, what are you doing? I guess they're triple medic tactic war eight actually. <laughs> okay, one more round with the silencer. If if we don't win this and there's more rounds, we're gonna go back to the basic setup with the um actually let me use this at the same time. So we have improved accuracy, less damage and improved hip accuracy because of the special grip that we have on. Where are these guys? We go from here. No! Damn it. So that didn't help there. I think we were probably did more damage if we didn't have the sounds around. My aim was off, sure, but come on, my aim can only take me so far. <laughs> Oh, come on guys, you can't lose this. Actually, no, please do lose this so that I can demonstrate this more. Oh, no, no, no. No, at least let me get the kill now that I've been rest. <laughs> 1v9. 1v9? What? What's that supposed to mean? Who, who's the one and who are the other nine? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Um... Honestly, the file is one of my favorite weapons, but um, since I prefer top fire weapons and I don't even have a permanent, I get I don't really get to use it very often. And as you may have noticed, nobody uses this, so it's obviously not meta. I think they might have buffed this some time ago, but it's still not enough to bring it up to the top. Um, buffs don't usually manage to do that anyways, but it's still like a very, very fun and, and strong gun to use. But if you use it against like an instead of like an AK-12 or like a CZ brand, you're obviously going to be at a disadvantage. Um, I think the main difference between like outclassed or non-meta weapons and and meta weapons at this point is usually their multipliers. But I I'd have to check the stats. I don't know the stats, of course, as as I never do. Um, but yeah, it's a great weapon. I like it personally, and. If you liked what you saw in this video, give it a try. It's pretty fun. See? Low recoil. So that's always good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.